Now you have some idea about how to add, organize, and configure content for an individual scene. Next, you need to think about navigation. Where can a user go from this particular scene? Very often, navigation options are universally consistent from one scene to the next, so this aspect of your interactive experience is something you should consider from the very beginning. In fact, your first step in a new project may be to create background and navigation elements that will be common across all, or at least a portion of all scenes. We're going to use a very powerful design element called an experience layer to achieve this cross-scene design objective. Right-click the Experience node in the Scene Structure panel and select the option Add Foreground Experience Layer. You should see it appear at the bottom of the panel. Remember, the lower items on the panel are closer to the front of the screen. Rename the Foreground Experience Layer to Navigation XP Layer. The letters XP are short for Experience. In this newly created XP layer, we are going to add a toggle button. From the Assets panel, drag and drop a toggle button element from the Interactive Assets section from the Navigation XP layer in the Scene Structure panel. Double-click the toggle button and replace the label Toggle Button with the word Biography. Position the toggle button in the upper part of the scene using X and Y coordinates like 680 and 100 and set the font size to 35. Click the Add a Scene button in the Scenes panel. Double click on this new scene to change its name to Home. Left click and drag the Home scene to a position above the Biography scene. Note how the Navigation XP layer is visible in this newly created scene. That's the power of Experience Layers. Customize the home scene by using a different background image. Let's use the one named Van Gogh BG Home this time. Time to add a third scene. Click the Add a Scene button in the Scenes panel. Double-click on this new scene to change its name to Artwork. Left-click and drag the Artwork scene to a position below the Biography scene. As you can see, the Navigation XP layer is visible here as well. Let's customize the Artwork scene by using a different background image again. Let's use the one named Van Gogh BG Orange. Now that we have three different scenes, we're going to set up navigation using triggers and actions with the toggle button. Select the toggle button named Biography with a single click. Then, in the Triggers Actions panel, click the Add a Trigger option. A dedicated Triggers and Action panel should open. Composer understands we're going to set a trigger on the toggle button, so it's listing the most typical selection, which is Is Checked. That takes care of the trigger. Now to the action. Click the space below then in the upper right portion of the panel. Next, in the lower left section named Action Target, pick the Scene to Scene Navigation option and then, in the Action section that appeared, choose Go to Scene. The object is to navigate to the Biography scene, so in the Actions parameter that is now visible, choose the Biography scene for your target and then a transition type of Crossfade. Click Close. We have just specified in a couple of clicks that the experience will navigate to the Biography scene whenever the Biography toggle button is checked. That's coding. You can now right-click the Biography toggle button and select Duplicate. A copy will be created, including the trigger and action associated with the button. Rename the button Artwork and position it at the X and Y coordinates of 1080 and 100. In the Triggers and Actions panel, change the action parameter so the target is the scene Artwork. Repeat this process again by creating a third toggle button that will navigate to the home scene, positioned at the X and Y coordinates of 280 and 100. Right now, our three toggle buttons are independent of one another. Our objective should be to ensure that whenever one button is checked, the other two are unchecked. We have to associate them in some way. In order to do that, we're going to put them into what is called a toggle set. Select the three toggle buttons in the Navigation XP layer within the Scene Structure panel. 
In the Properties panel on the right, select the Behavior category. We are going to modify this property and, as we have all three buttons selected, change rules will be applied to all of them. Check the property Member of Toggle Set and give this toggle set a name, like Menu. Uncheck the Allow Uncheck of All Buttons property, as we always want one to be selected. Since we want the experience to start on the home scene, we should set the Home Toggle button to Checked. Select the Home Toggle button and in the Properties panel, in the Appearance category, check the Checked property. Then select the Experience in the Scene Structure panel. In the Properties panel, in the Behavior category, identify Home as the startup scene. Our experience will now always start on this home scene. You can now hit the play button and watch how nicely you can navigate through your experience using the three toggle buttons.